here. Um, we're going to have some time with him as we wait for Chandler Smith to uh, wrap up victory lane. If you have a question for Chase, uh, driver of the number nine Hendrick Motorsports Chevrolet, please raise your hand and we'll start right here and then go to Zach. David Sal with the podium finish, Chase. Obviously, you're doing the SRX race tonight. Just what's your excitement level to, to do that, Sharon? Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, hope hope we can get there, you know, on time. Obviously, it's going to be really, really tight. So, um, yeah, fortunately, the weather's nice here today. Um, so that, that, that's really helpful. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. You know, Nashville last year, for me, is probably going to be hard to top. I feel like that was about as cool as it gets uh, as it pertains to going and, and doing, a, doing one of their races, just the significance of that, the – the city, you know, racing against dad. I mean, all that stuff was really cool. So, um, but tonight I think will be a lot of fun. Looking forward to being a part of the event. Hopefully it's a good show. Um, you know, and excited to, to watch Ryan and Dave race too. I think that's going to be neat and, and looking forward to that. Zach? Zach Sternio, NASCAR.com. Chase, um, I, you talked uh, after after winning at Atlanta, you were on Corey the Joy's podcast, and you said that you were trying to focus on getting better at the track you hadn't been good at, like Loud and like Pocono. Then you go finish runner up last week. Um, what's the optimism level coming into this weekend's race, seeing what you guys were able to improve uh, last week at Loudon? Yeah, I mean, I <clears throat> I was surprised, you know, that, that we ran as good as we did last week. I mean, I, I feel like I've probably had had cars that were capable of running that well in the past. I just think I do a poor job uh, at, at that at that place. And, you know, it was nice. We, we qualified better than I thought we were going to, even, you know, after that second round. I didn't really think my lap was all that good, and then we ended up being second. You know, I was, I was kind of surprised by that. Felt like when the race started, we were, you know, uh, probably bleeding a little bit. And, and then when we, uh, you know, we had a loose wheel there and had to come back in and, and fix that, um, was able to get back up to the field, and, and then at that point, you know, I thought we had we had helped our car and gotten to a favorable favorable position, um, you know, and just just you know was uh, was proud of that effort, you know, and would like to continue to do you know do more of that this weekend. I think we can go and and um, you know be competitive. We, we we were good here once. I think it was like my rookie year. I, I uh, you know we were fast and had an opportunity there, and and I kind of threw that one away too. So. Just uh, hopefully we can kind of get back in that direction. So um, I think it's there. We just have to extract it, and, and this has been a, a difficult place for me. We'll take two more questions for Chase. Go to Davey and then up to Kyle. Right there. Hey, Chase. Davey Siegel with Sirius XM. Before your first win, you were really hard on yourself, uh, and the last couple of weeks you've also been pretty hard on yourself. Obviously, you can't win every single race. You know that. Where does the mindset come from of holding yourself to such a high standard? Where does that come from? I'm not hard on myself. I'm just honest about the facts of the matter and what happened. There's no one that knows what goes on in the event more than myself and my team. Not not y'all. Not anybody watching at home. So I mean, I, I appreciate the you know the kind words here and there, but the, the reality is what it was, and and I stated that. You know, I, I made too many mistakes and and feel like you know took a chance uh, to win away, and and that's really as simple as that. Uh, and, and I try to state that, you know, when, when I feel that way, especially when it's in my hands. We'll wrap up here with Kyle. Kyle, can you raise your hand, bud? Kyle Magda, Rowdy Mag Light Racing Media and Lee Heighten Times News. Uh, Chase, what's, what's been your opinion on the next-gen car? You've had some time with it now. You're leading the points. I mean, how, how has it been for you out there so far this season? Yeah, you know, honestly, I, I really don't have much of an opinion. You know, like for me, I don't, I don't make the rules, and and uh, my my job is to make whatever it is go as fast as possible and perform at a high level. You know, and and outside of that, I just I've got to the point where does somebody else make those decisions, and I'll go on down the road. You know, so um, I, I don't have much of one, honestly. Not not in a negative light. I just don't. And. You know, for me, I, I want to go do a good job. I want to go and perform at my best. I want to go and, and try to, you know, make my team better. I want to get better, you know, every week. And, and that opportunity is going to be there whether you're driving, you know, what we have now or what you had last year or whatever they decide to change to here in a couple years or whatever, you know. So um, I don't think the racing is much different, you know, from the outside looking in. Just a lot of, a lot of new obstacles for the teams and, and the folks to overcome. Well, thank you, Chase. Appreciate yeah, you coming in appreciate. and being flexible with your Thanks. time. And now we'll be joined by the winner of today.